If you want to replace signs on the billboards, cars, switch signs, then this is the video for you. Make sure you stick around till the end. In this video, we will use the planar tracker to track the markers on the vehicle, then remove the markers to create a clean plate. Afterwards, we will composite a logo onto the moving vehicle using the track data. Why all this hustle, you might ask? Sometimes you may not have the budget to print the logos onto the vehicles or even advertise using the billboards. And the best thing is to use DaVinci Resolve Fusion page to resolve these struggles. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. So for quick presentation, I will be using the video provided by Blackmagic Design and you can find the link to the video down below in the description. The planar tracker. It's important to start tracking on the frame where the area you are tracking is clear and large enough for your planar tracker. And if the clip has significant lens distortion, it is advisable to remove the distortion using lens distort node before performing a planar track. In viewer 1, we can simply draw a polygon following the guidelines. At the top of the inspector, let's click the set button. By doing this, we set the current frame as a reference frame for the rest of the track. If you stop before the tracking is completed, you must re-click the set button before resuming the tracking process. So let me just uh, put up my area for the track, obviously, so I'll just put it up. that so I'm going to go all the way to the back and let's go something like this and close it off or you can press shift O at the bottom of the inspector track to end or track to start so click the track to start button pressing it and you can see now we have enough data that is already tracked Click the go button to move the playhead back to the set frame. Then click the track to end button. Despite the majority of the fan disappearing off the screen, the planar tracker continues to track right to the end of the clip. If you want to evaluate that the track data is 100% on the mark, change the operation mode from track to steady. There you have it, so the side of the band stayed locked in place throughout the timeline playback. Reset the operation mode pop-up menu to track. With the tracking done, we can now focus on removing the tracking markers and creating a clean side of the van using the paint tool to clone some of the parts of the van. I think you have used magic tool inside Photoshop. This tool, it works more similar to that. We just need to freeze single frame to paint over, then cut the clean side of the fan and composite it onto the live full motion shot. Of course, this is cheating, but it will sell the effect. This time around, let's pull up the effect library and move to the tools all the way to miscellaneous category. Then drag time stretcher, place it in the empty space. Time Stretcher tool is used to freeze the fan on a clear frame. The Time Stretcher tool automatically adds a keyframe when we connect a source to it. We don't necessarily need this keyframe. We can remove this by pressing the diamond icon in the inspector. We can now enter the hero frame number into the time stretcher under the source time for the entire length of the shot. 60 65. Enter. Let's add the paint tool to the right of the time stretcher. Let's move into clone mode by pressing stroke tool to copy parts of the shot. And then under inspector, take the apply controls to clone tool. Option click on Mac OS or alt click on Windows to the left of the side of the van. 
once that is done you can now paint off you can paint off your your marker sorry about that let me uh, show you again in case if it doesn't appear you have to take your paint into that viewer because then you will be viewing the before and then this is the after so just don't make that mistake i made it just now let's paint all these markers keep in mind it is often good to keep the source of the selection near the area you will paint over because doing so it keeps the texture and the color of the two areas as similar as possible command drag on mac os or control drag on windows to resize the brush continue choosing a new offset and paint over the markers until all the markers are removed. clean plate we can now composite the logo onto the moving vehicle i have high ink studios logo right here let's see if we can make this more realistic drag the logo into the note editor then drag the output of the media in to onto the paint to generate your mesh node Like this you can view it you can see high ink studios logo is bigger than the input visuals we may need to resize this and there we have it it's now fitting although if you notice this picture is harsh and does not fit into the scene. There's more to do to this to blend, like color correction, positioning, and more. Under Mesh node in the spectrum, set the apply mode to soft light. The soft light apply mode is good choice because it softly lightens the logo based on the white van color giving the logo a nice diffused look. However, since the crease lines in the van are darker than much of the logo, the logo is darkened in those areas. Let me just zoom a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about here. You see here, it's a little bit darkened and it makes it more of like it's on top of the vehicle, nicely so. And the shiny part as well, you can see it here. The result is good but maybe too light and diffused. We can improve this a bit by using some simple color correction. I will click my resize tool node and shift space. We need something like brightness and contrast node. And there we have it. I'm editing it. And you have gamma lift gain just like in your color correction gamma should attack your mid-tones lift should attack your shadows gain should attack your bright colors in this case let's see what we can do with lift give it a little bit something like this will do Although this is looking much better, the edges of the graphic have become a bit ragged. Let me show you this. You can see the ragged lines here. And if I'm to switch off, the, okay, so you see there, you see? And we need to get rid of this. 
This is common problem that occurs when you perform color correction on images with pre-multiplied alpha channel. To correct this problem, we need to enable pre-divide post multiply checkbox in your color corrector. And there you have it, it's now smooth again. We'll put up the video regarding this in the later stages. For now, let's continue. Next step is to position the logo to replicate the perspective distortion of the camera's viewpoint, we will use the corner position and node to accomplish this strategy. At this point, I take it you know how to add the nodes, so I'll just add it. Place the corners accordingly till the image fits the perspective. So far, you have free frame for the entire shot, but you need to isolate the side of the van with the logo to composite it later. Let's do this. Let's add polygon. With the polygon tool selected, draw the shape around the side of the van. Be sure to close your mat by pressing Shift O to connect them automatically. now have a mat but we have no way to connect this into on a node tree all the available blue effects masks input are not the type of the mask input we need an effect mask limits the area of the effect what we are doing here is combining an image with a mat effectively cropping the image the type of the mask is often called a garbage mat we need to add a node that can accept garbage mat input the most commonly used node for this purpose is called Mat Control. Option drag on Mac OS or Alt drag on Windows the output of your polygon mask onto the Mat Control. Choose Garbage Mat. Take this, view it in viewer number one and you can see it's the opposite of what we are looking for in your inspector while pressing the polygon press invert and this is what we are looking for finally we can image move the image with the track data we did earlier select the planar track at the bottom of the inspector click create planar transform We can connect the mat control to the node and delete the planar tracker. Now we can join back the images together. we have it match node to see the result we can see the result here so if I'm to move across you can see the logo is moving with the vehicle except it might be right at the moment but let's play through Although we can see a problem here, resulting from the shadow changing in the live shot. Let's fix this by right clicking over the control in the viewer and choose control, select, polygon 1, outer polygon. Before we continue any further, what you want to do is uh, press make double poly right click select controls 
select auto polygon and what you need to do is to press your control press the point 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 somewhere somehow you need to do this in here so let's do it there to make this better for you to work with sorry about that so I'm just going to press this okay right click control select auto polygon and then I'll just only select these ones here and then make it that way this is obviously uh, you want it uh, where the shot it's not working very well that's where you want to do this press somewhere away Now you can't see that problem happening that much visible well of course this is going overboard because we only tracked up until this point this point so let me close off here and this is how far we can go okay this probably we don't need uh, two screens so I'm going to close that one off fit screen show let's play it through we finally managed what we're trying to get but the image is a little bit jagged it's moving you can see each frame let's try to introduce motion blur to sell the effect we can do this under mesh node let's go for it set the quality and shutter angle accordingly If you made it this far, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more videos like this. See you later alligator.